Housing prices have started to fall. Home prices are starting to fall. The housing recession will probably end up being more severe. The real estate crash has started. Home prices are going down. Right now, you guys, we have a foreclosure crisis that is forming. The housing market crash becomes more and more obvious. As the market is going through this downturn, real home prices are going to fall. Sales collapse at the fastest pace in almost two decades. Continued decline in home sales and buyer demand. The lowest level since June 2020. It's the lack of demand, the declining demand. Year yourself up for a housing market crash in the new year. Buyers haven't been this pessimistic in a decade. What a load of bullshit. Now, we all know that the best ways to get clicks online is by entertaining people, infuriating them, or scaring the shit out of them. Now, when a sea of influencers out there trying to scare you into watching their content, people who have a really good message about what it is that you should be investing in and where you should be going to in these times of crises in the real estate market, it gets kind of hard to not get drowned out. So today in this episode, we're going to be focusing on a couple of really big investors who you should be taking your cues from instead of influencers online. We're going to be taking a look at why smart people invest in mobile homes. When it comes to trailer parks, most people are going to have the common tropes in their heads. Trailer trash, meth heads, rebel flags, mug shots, wife beaters, and my favorite, episodes of Cops. Now, to be fair, that stuff can happen anywhere. But what a lot of people don't understand is that some of this nation's most notable billionaires are making a ton of money off of this market. Now, way back in 2003, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway acquired Clayton Homes out of Knoxville, Tennessee to the tune of about $1.7 billion. That's a lot of scratch. Now, why would he do something like that? That's because Warren understood that mobile homes provide him an opportunity to switch lanes. It's because mobile homes and manufactured housing provides opportunity for low-income families, retirees, and first-time home buyers. This was an incredible buy for a guy like him. One of the biggest mistakes that I see a lot of these so-called gurus making is by telling everybody what to go and do at the exact same time that everybody else is doing something. The only thing that you really need to understand is the principle of simple supply and demand. When everybody is consuming one thing, the price of that thing tends to go up because there is a shortage of it. People have to pay more money for something that there is a scarcity of. But they also tell people not to buy and everybody's doing the exact same thing. And this is when people tend to get rich. You hop off into this real estate stuff at a time where nobody's, where everybody's trying to buy something, right? And it drives the price up to a premium. Okay, this is you and everybody else who's watching all these videos that get millions of views or hundreds of thousands of views from whatever your favorite content creator is. But then when they have these videos of everything that's melting down, what do you think these people are doing? They're actually going out there buying homes and telling you to sit this one out. This puts you at odds. But this is why this mobile home market is so important is because there is almost literally no competition out there, which makes it really good and brings it to my second point, which is Warren Buffett understands that investing in the aging population of this country, because let's face it, less and less people are f***ing these days, okay? More and more people are getting procedures done these days because let's face it, babies are f***ing expensive. And I like eggs. Our population is going to get older. It happens in every first world country out there. People start making more money. Prices start going up and babies become a liability. So Warren Buffett understood that our population was going to continue to get older and older and older. And that is a cash cow for him at Berkshire Hathaway. Which brings me to my next point is that Warren Buffett has been able to capitalize on the manufacturing of manufactured homes. Since Warren Buffett acquired Clayton Homes in 2003, they've been able to generate $1.5 million homes, resulting in $14 billion in revenue. Once again, that's a lot of scratch. Seeing as how mobile homes can be manufactured for a lower cost per square foot than your traditional homes, and they're taken off globally, and they're able to generate homes with a certified energy efficiency star. Another cool thing is that manufactured housing is built to HUD code. So any of you guys looking to get in on that sweet, sweet government money with Section 8, you can do so very easily by simply buying a mobile home because you already know it's up to code. Put up your own terms, put in a few families and stuff that needs your help, and there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Now, I know there can be a lot of contention when it comes down to average earners talking about the wealthy 1% in this country, but you need to pay attention to what these people are doing. And that's why I want to make an honorable mention to Sam Zell. Sam Zell is the largest investor of mobile home properties in the United States. The problem is that the world and this country should not talk about envy of the 1%. It should talk about emulating the 1%. The 1% work harder, the work 1% are much bigger factors in all forms of our society. As of the making of this video, Sam Zell is worth a whopping $5.3 billion. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> now, does this sound like somebody who's too good to invest in mobile homes? I think not. So if you are trying to get to an easy bag, I highly suggest that you invest in this particular market because to be honest with you, eventually people are gonna start waking up and it's gonna be harder for you to get in. But I'm gonna do another video on the pros and cons of investing in mobile homes that I think you'll wanna pay attention to. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what you think that I should probably do a video uh, later on. And if you have some questions, comments, and concerns, Please leave those below because I do read those and I am going to do a video to where I answer some of you guys' questions. I'm always getting asked questions about like, you know, what if I find a mobile home and they want it to be moved and I don't have land and it's going to cost me X amount of dollars to do that? Well, I'm going to answer that in another video. Also, I want to give a massive shout out and dedicate this video to Darlene and her beautiful wife, Valerie. You two were able to buy a mobile home for $3,000 and sell it for $9,000 in just two days at a profit of $6,000. I am really happy for the two of you. You guys watched my videos just like everybody else, but you took action. Not only did you talk the talk, but you walked the walk, and I'm really proud of what you did. I cannot wait to meet the two of you in person this summer at FlipCon to flip a mobile home with me here in Alabama. If you want to come down this summer and flip a mobile home with me and some of my students in my group, then feel free to go on ahead and click the link in the description where you can get some more information and I'll hop on a call with you and give you more information about that event. You don't want to miss out on it because I have several students who are now working on their own mobile homes and are building their own portfolios. And some of these people came from nothing just like I did. So I really hope that you guys take advantage of that. So with that stuff being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.